Welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Dallas, your host and teacher. I'm gonna show you how to hold the bongos. World Drum Club. So when you get a set of bongos, if you wanna hold them in the traditional way, which is seated, uh, we can also use stands, but we're gonna focus on the traditional seated bongo holding position right now. I wanna give you a couple tips, and this involves holding them comfortably and securely. So what you're gonna do is actually you're gonna examine your bongos. Make sure that the tension rods and lug nuts are like they are here. In other words, they're pretty much like squares lined up, you know, across the bongos this way. If, if all of this is twisted, you're gonna to have to loosen all the lug nuts here and you're gonna rotate the whole setup until it looks like this, all right? Until it's basically at 90 degree angles to the bongos. Once you've got that, you know, and your bongos are in tune, you're gonna hold them like this. You're gonna place them on your lap with the small drum on your left, and this is for right-handed people. Your small, the small drum on your left, big drum on this side, and then you're going to place them so the large drum is below your right knee with this portion, this flat line here between the tension rods resting against your calf, all right, down here. You also want to sit forward a little bit if you're on a chair or something so the bongos aren't hitting the chair. And then you're going to place the small drum above your calf, in other words, above your knee and on the left side. So you've basically got the top tension rod here in your knee over here in that little knee crevice. And then you've got the lower tension rod on this side in the same area, right? In that little bend spot. So it's like that. So now the flat part on the small drum is this way on my thigh and the flat part on the big drum is this way on my calf. So it's more comfortable because the tension rods are not digging into my legs and it's more secure because it's I've got this kind of block here, right? My, my leg, my upper leg here, my lower leg here are blocking the bongos in. All right, so that's what I do. That's my advice. I don't know if that's what everybody does, but I find that very comfortable. Also, the angle of the drums, you know, is pretty much kind of just parallel to where my arms naturally fall. Maybe, you know, a little tipped one way or the other. But that's basically um, how we hold the bongos in a comfortable way and in a way that allows you to hold them for extended periods of time without getting tired and they're not slipping down. I also do have my feet pretty close together, so you wanna move your feet close together under the bongos at the bottom, all right? That's it, that's what I have for you. Enjoy playing your bongos. I'm Kalani Das, I'll see you in a future lesson.